Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take a few more questions to understand the concept. A corn cob shaped somewhat like a cone has a radius of its broadest end as 2.1 cm. So this is like, almost like a cone and this radius is 2.1 cm and the length and when, when you are saying length, they have mentioned it is height, it is not latent uh, height, it is the length, this is the height, this is the height, height that is 20 centimeter it is given and if each 1 centimeter square of the surface of the cob carries an average of 4 grains, how many grains would you find on the entire cob? So that means we have to first find the curved surface area, right? So in this area, in this area there is no corn we know that we this is something we know because we eat corn so that is implicit so we have to first find a curved surface area of cone of of uh, in the cone or you can say cob also that is pi r l okay so but l is not given h is given so l we have to first find L is root R square plus H square. We know this. Put the values. R square is 2.1 square. H square, H is what? 220. Okay, and this will be centimeter. So you solve this, you'll get almost 20. It's 20.11 centimeter. That is the value of L. So let's find the value of curve SA. This pi R L that is 22 by 7 into R that is 2.1, L that is 20.11, this will be centimeter square, you solve this you get 132.726 centimeter square, okay. So one centimeter square of cob has, has 4 grains. So 132.726 centimeter square cob will have how many? 4 into 132.726 grains. So if you solve this you get 530.92 and that is almost 531 grains. So that is the number of grains this particular corn cob will have. Okay, it's pretty easy. So this was, it is mentioned that it, it looks like a corn. Keyword here is corn. Sorry, the keyword here is corn. And uh, the length, the height of the cone was given, the radius of the cone was given. And it was mentioned that average, average one centimeter square surface area of the cone will have four grains. And with that, we could actually find the number of grains in the whole corn cob. The curved surface area of the cone is given 308 centimeter square. Slant height is 14 centimeter. You define the radius of the base and the total surface area of the cone. So it's pretty easy, straightforward question, right? We know that curved SA is nothing but pi R. Let's put the value 308 centimeter square is pi that is 22 by 7 into r r is to find slant height l is given so you solve this and this is uh, 14 centimeter so you solve this you get r as 7 centimeter one part is solved pretty easy second is total surface area total surface area is what for cone total surface area for cone is what curved SA plus pi r square, correct? So if you notice in the case of cylinder, the total surface area was curved surface area plus 2 pi r square because we had, they were two base. In cone there is only one base, so pi r square. That is 308 plus pi is 22 by 7. R we just found 7 into 7 centimeter square. So you saw this, this becomes 308, this becomes 154 centimeter square. And that is 462 centimeters. Okay. Let's take another question. 
a conical tent 10 meter high so this height is given 10 meter radius of the base is given 24 meter find the slant height slant height is pretty easy l is equal to root r square plus h square what is the value of r r is 24 h 10 and this is nothing but root 676 i 76 plus 100 676 that is 26 meter right this is i 76 100 676 so root 676 meter is nothing but 26 meter that is the slant height the first person is done cost of canvas required to make the tent if the cost of 1 meter square is 70 so here we have to find what we have to find surface area because in the tent actually one thing is not clear in this case it is not mentioned that we do we need the base also right so we'll assume the base is not required because else they would have given that the base has to be created right so we'll just assume that curved surface area has to be created so curved surface area of the cone we know is nothing but pi rl what is the value 22 by 7 r is what r is 24 l is what 26 and that will be meter square okay so that is the curve surface area what is the cost we will not multiply now because it has to divide by 7 so we don't have the number so we will just keep this number as such right so cost of 1 meter square is what 70 rupees so cost of this many meter square is what 22 by 7 into 24 into 26 meter square is what so the same number into 70 and that will be rupees so in this case it gets cancelled so you saw this you guess 1 3 7 2 8 0 pretty easy this question is a little confusing because in this case they have not mentioned whether the base has to be created or not so we assume that the base is not required thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.